Hey guys, welcome to motorheads.com. My name is Amit Changani and we have driven the much anticipated Mahindra Marazzo and while we are going to do a very detailed review at a later point in time, I thought I'll do this one shot, one cut, uh, quick walk around for you so that you know everything that you need to know quickly about the car and uh, let's see the wonders of the Mahindra Marazzo because it has us mighty impressed with what all it does. So let's start with the design and uh, the first thing that you pro pro probably want to uh, appreciate is the fact that it's a very well proportioned car, it doesn't look bulbous or disproportionate from any angle despite being the biggest Mahindra ever and although it's it packs a lot of space inside we have uh, seen it from the inside and we have sat inside so the space inside is uh, quite amazing but it doesn't look disproportionate it's, it's quite uh, nicely done and uh, I think that Penn and Farina have uh, worked their magic on uh, the lines of the car and if you look at the sides you'll see that the door sides have been scooped out two very tight lines uh, run on the side and are joined here and uh, those wheels those beautiful wheels are 17 inches and are available only in the top of the line m8 variant the lower variants get 16 inches the tires are uh, bridgestone dweller hps and uh, they are 215 section and they do a very good job of uh, providing good grip and uh, cutting road noise as well look at the front there the headlamps are projectors and again these are available only on the top of the line version and the M6 variant as well. They also get cornering lights while the M2 and M4 get normal reflectors not the projectors. That grill looks beautiful doesn't it? It's this uh, dark chrome kind of a treatment that's been given to this uh, shiny bit and I quite like it. It's not very imposing uh, but just look at that face it's so well designed it's uh, so well proportioned it doesn't want to look like an SUV or anything but for an MPV it's a very very nicely done job and in the flesh this car actually looks very nice let's have a look from the side you would also notice this DRL here and the chrome over the window sills this floating roof effect thanks to this uh, piano black insert here and uh, don't those uh, tail lamps remind you of something the loggi yes well they do but uh, again you know with this one uh, Mahindra have uh, not made it very loud or something which was a little too experimentative like they did with the Scorpio or uh, the XUV 500 which had some rather loud looking tail lamps this is still a bit more conservative at the rear you get this big chrome applique as well and the Marazzo logo of course with the shark fin there you have your camera the rear view camera and you also have these sensors a high mount stop lamp and uh, this antenna why is it uh, not a shark fin antenna wouldn't that have gone very well with the whole design theme here you have an electromagnetic button to open the boot and the boot has a space of 190 liters with all seats up with these two seats down it's uh, more than 1000 that's 1055 liters and you have your jack here and this area is lit as well let me also show you the spare which is a full sized unit and on the tail lamps you have an LED in uh, element here while the rest is bulbs time then to get inside the cabin now the key here would let you get inside in a keyless manner the door handles are not very sturdy they feel a little weak but you will get inside without having to insert the key but there is no push start stop so that's something that you'll have to know and the engine comes to life in a jiffy it's a very nice engine there you have the center console this is the new instrument console which is purple lit inspired by shark and it's very feature rich there are a lot of things and this is a TFT color TFT instrument console with a trip computer navigation and it also gets a personal reminder which can remind you about birthdays and your anniversary and a lot of other stuff uh, headlamps and wipers are not 
automatic so we are going to be manual the steering wheel is all new and don't get overwhelmed by those buttons they're just too many it will take only a while before you get used to them there are at least 14 different ways in which you, in which you can uh, press those buttons so one two three four five and six seven and eight one two three four five and six seven and eight so uh, 16 in total then you have power folding mirrors and electrically adjustable as well and driver's side window is auto up and auto down it's also entry pinch and uh, this is a very soft cushion here and available only in the top of the line variant the door panels get uh, ample space for a 1.5 liter bottle and an umbrella holder as well so that's very nice about the steering it feels a little uh, slim to me and it should probably have been leather covered and uh, it's a little light too but it's okay it's not the best steering wheels that I've uh, handled but it's quite nice and that dashboard is something that's quite unique it's quite large and it slopes forward see the amount of area that you have here and uh, it slopes forward so it gives you a very good view of uh, what's ahead so it really aids visibility although this A pillar here uh, can obstruct uh, the vision somewhat and uh, create a blind spot but uh, nothing worth complaining you also get this uh, space here to put your wallet or mobile or whatever you want and this instrument console here gets TFT while the center console gets uh, a capacitive touch for the top of the line variant while the lower variants get resistive touch the touch is reasonably responsive it's, it's not the best but it's pretty good you have uh, four speakers plus two tweeters on the top variant the lower variants get four speakers the sound quality is okay it's not all that great but it's not bad either unless you're an audiophile you would probably uh, be able to live with it uh, the dashboard is done in four colors this light gray here then you have this piano black with this graphic scheme on one end towards the left and you have this very nice ivory uh, finish insert followed by this beige uh, bottom and uh, it looks very nice it's very well done the plastics and everything the quality is pretty good it's all very well put together too so full marks to Mahindra for uh, the workmanship it actually feels like a very premium car the seats here are finished in leatherette and the seats have a uh, height adjuster for the driver as well as lumbar support and I see a lumbar support for the front passenger as well you get armrests which is again great but the big news here is this is this tambour door which feels very nice it shuts very very smoothly and makes the cabin feel very nice inside you have a lot of space uh, so I put my wallet there but you also have space for two cups and uh, this rubberized mat here would also help you put your cell phone or wallet or keys and in front of that you'll get two USB sockets uh, which also enable the instrument I mean, I'm sorry the center console to be Android auto compliant but it's not uh, Apple CarPlay com play compliant you have this 12 volt socket in addition to the two USBs and one auxin and uh, this is where the uh, gear shifter uh, is and it falls very easily to the hand uh, the gear shifts here are a little notchy not the best but not too bad either uh, we have seen better gear shifts but uh, I'll talk about the engine in a bit so that was the story up front uh, twin airbags and ABS with the uh, child uh, lock seats I'm sorry uh, uh, mounts for uh, child seats come standard on all variants and just a little detail here these sun visors are pretty nice actually they are extendable and will help you when the sun is shining very brightly and won't leave a space which makes the sun glint onto your face and uh, similar is the case here as well see You get this conversation mirror and you also get a sunglasses holder and your normal reading lights up front and uh, another important thing is that the glove box is chilled and illuminated so another good feature to have uh, those buttons remind me clearly of the XUV so XUV parts bin has been used so that's the story up front you also have this eco mode if you wish to 
extract more fuel efficiency from the car and this little crevice to put your wallet if you so wish and the bonnet opener is right here so let's have a look again up front hope that gives you a good view and now i'm going to go to the back seat and the one thing that mahindra says is that the entry and exit from this car is going to be easy because uh, the entry point is about 10 mm lower than the similar cars in the segment and that is true as i've tested it's uh, relatively easy to get in however let me just show you the door panels uh, where you have space for a full one liter in fact one and a half liter water bottle and then some and this crevice for a wallet plus this is very soft and covered in leatherette you have this ivory insert here everything is very well finished and you also get this uh, sun visor here which is a segment first for the uh, middle row plus the second row seats can move forward and aft so this is the furthest back and i can move it forward as well like so however if you are tumbling down the right seat it's not going to allow you to get in so you can get in only uh, from the left seat and you can see it's tumbled down i'll show you how it works but let's first get seated ample space lot of knee room no worries on that front there's a lot of space in the marazzo and uh, i'll show it to you from here as well tons of space very comfortable seats individual armrests for the captain seat and for the rear passenger you also get this big space here to put whatever uh, you wish it's a cup holder cum bottle holder cum uh, storage space for your cell phone or wallet and you also get a usb charging socket and this is the segment first roof mounted uh ac vents for the marazzo and you can choose from four levels of air flow and uh, you can choose from whether you want the air to fall onto you directly or in a diffuse manner so when you choose direct it's going to be channeled through this big section here and if you choose diffuse it's going to be channeled through this section here in a very diffused soft kind of manner so that's that ac works very well uh, although it's not the best that you have seen it could probably have been a little better it was really hot outside and it took some time before uh, the cabin was uh, completely cool so it cools well but it doesn't chill uh, very fast it doesn't have that chill factor uh, all the seats have adjustable headrests and uh, that's very important because a lot of people are skimping on that aspect also have a look at these door uh, sorry the seat pockets which can store a bottle or whatever you want so now we are going to get into the third row and to do that it's very simple you just have to pull this lever here and there you go see it's very easy and uh, the entry for the third row is actually very very convenient and what's even more surprising is the fact that the third row has tons of space so that's something really amazing uh, it's not all that monstrous looking a vehicle but uh, if you really go to see the space at the back is impressive let me just put the seats up again sorry for all this fumble since it's a walk around there you go so those are the seats in the third row and i sat there the knee room is actually pretty good you can actually if you are not a very hefty frame you can actually uh, seat three abreast there for medium journeys and those seats are quite comfortable for uh, uh, being third row seats you get that bottle holder there and let me just get inside so this is the knee room and the knees don't point skywards uh you have some space in the middle and if i really want to show you there is some headroom as well so even 6 footers would not have any problem this should probably give you a little better view so a lot of space inside and all this while while i'm talking with you the engine is on and that's another important aspect of the marazzo because the engine doesn't make much noise that's first but the cabin is very very well insulated uh there is hardly any engine noise wind noise road noise or tire noise inside and that's something which mahindra have to be 
uh, lauded for because uh, it's actually class leading we are not taking the word for it it's actually the best in class and uh, we were really surprised by uh, how well insulated the cabin is one thing while getting out you have to be careful about uh, this piece protruding out it may hurt your knee so that's one thing that you have to be careful about but that's the space inside for you and uh, now coming to how it is to drive well it's not a driver's car for sure and let's be very clear about that right at the outset because Mahindra said that you know it would be fun also and it would also appeal to the guy who wants to drive so it's not a driver's car however it's got a very solid four set of wheels uh, it's reasonably stable uh, the body roll is pretty well contained for an MPV and it's powered by an all new 1.5 litre diesel and uh, this diesel delivers 121 HP of peak power along with the uh, 300 newton meters of torque so to put things in perspective if you compare it with the Ertiga the Ertiga has only 89 HP and 200 newton meters so about 30 HP more and 100 newton meters more and the fuel efficiency here is over 17 kilometers to the liter which will uh, which will translate to a real world efficiency of between uh, 12 to 15 16 uh, city highway and uh, the the really important aspect that we know to need to know about the engine transmission combo is the engine is very refined very very smooth and uh, it is really really tractable uh, it it starts uh, pulling from about 1000 uh, 1100 rpm so tractability is there from that level however once you reach uh, 1500 1600 the turbo starts to spool in and it's up at about 1700 1800 rpm where the turbo is really really properly spooled up and you get that mild kick and uh, uh, the acceleration from there on is pretty good. The first three gears are short, fourth, fifth, sixth, sixth gears are taller. Uh, but the refinement and the drivability that you get from the engine is very, very nice. And uh, it's really a joy to drive. The transmission could have been a little smoother. It's not the best transmission, uh, but uh, it's slightly notchy. But uh, it's not complaint worthy. It's not the best, but it's not bad either. It's not rubbery, but it could probably have been a little bit uh, smoother. So that's that, guys. Uh, the steering is a little light then I would have wanted the suspension uh, feels slightly on the stiffer side with two on board however I think that with uh, uh, all five aboard or four people aboard it, it would settle down uh, it's not complaint worthy but it probably could have uh, been a little uh, better it could have been a little more supple overall we really really love what we see here and uh, it's a very well turned out product the fit and finish and uh, the way the engine has turned out the way it drives the space inside all of that is absolutely amazing and I'm trying to get in now because it's windy outside and that may uh, make the audio go bad but uh, that's the Marazzo for you guys let's have a look at the seats again the interior again and in terms of uh, the overall package I think uh, Mahindra have outdone themselves it's a very very well made product we had our own skepticism about it before we uh, drove it but now we really love it for what it is it's really very well built oh one one important thing that i missed out was this uh, aircraft uh, style handbrake so that's one thing that you'd probably uh, appreciate so that's that guys i hope that this video gave you a quick insight into what the marazzo is about and it's actually a very good product you should go and uh, check it out uh, take a test drive if you are willing to buy in this segment the prices range from 9.9 .9 lakh rupees uh, to uh, uh, 13.9 lakh rupees uh, and if you compare it with the Artiga uh, it's uh, the difference is there about 3 lakh rupees if you compare the top end variant to the top end variant but this is about 300 mm longer 200 uh, mm wider and uh, the power is 30 HP up the torque is uh, 100 uh, newton, newton, newton meters up and the space here is actually you can feel that the space is much more it's a bigger car it feels more premium too so uh, in my uh, understanding that uh, extra price is justified because Mahindra is positioning it as something which is uh, not comparable with the Artica. In any case, Artica is going to be replaced very soon, so cannot compare it with that. But uh, with the current model, this one definitely has an edge. So, guys, uh, I hope I made some sense. I tried to give you a flavor of everything that's there in the car. I'm sure I must have missed out something, but this is a one shot video, so kindly pardon me if I uh, goofed up or I fumbled or whatever. But I hope that I was of some use to you. 
thanks a lot for watching guys please subscribe to motoroids uh, we try our best to get the most comprehensive information to you as much as possible before everyone else so kindly you know uh, subscribe we would really feel obliged we would really love you a lot more if you subscribe to us do subscribe like share this video with friends and family who would be interested in this car and then as i always say before i sign out this is amit changani requesting you once again to subscribe rev hard rev free and drive safe